Breaking news, my country people. Atiku Abubaka has raised alarm on a very dangerous plot President Bola Admetinibu is trying to embark on. He's allegedly trying to manipulate and intimidate the judiciary. Atiku Abubaka raises alarm over this issue. Guys, this is serious. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Well, my country people, the People's Democratic Party has accused President Bola Admet Tinibu. Yes, now the presidential candidate of the party, the PDP, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, has raised alarm of a plot to undermine the Nigeria's judiciary. Now, Politics Niger reports that in a statement signed by his media advisor, Atiku said that the ruling of Progressive Congress APC is trying to intimidate judges sitting on the petition, challenging the outcome of the February 25th presidential election. And Atiku said that the APC has a history of intimidating the judiciary citing the removal of the former Chief Justice of Nigeria, Mr. Walter, in 2019. And he said that the plot of the APC is simple. They are just trying to intimidate the judiciary. They are trying to threaten judges with arrest so that they would bow to their will, so that they would bow to their pressure. And this is a playbook from 2019, when they removed the CJN and then replaced him with a... Tanko Mohammed, who himself was later accused of corruption by his colleagues at the Supreme Court and resigned shamefully. He also said that the APC had accused about 10 judges of corruption and stormed their homes in an attempt to intimidate them. An article therefore called on Nigerians to, to be very, very vigilant and to resist any attempt by the All Progressive Congress to undermine the judiciary. He also called on the security agencies to remain professional and to resist being used as an instrument of oppression and, and uh, intimidation against the judiciary. Well, my country people, Atiku Abubakar have revealed that there is a simster plot to, to undermine our Nigeria's democracy, our Nigeria's judiciary. He called on consign Nigerians to be very, very vigilant. Plus, international communities, oh, those in the diaspora, they should be on alert. Since the conclusion of this presidential election in February 2023, hmm, we never get rest for this country. I am telling you, we've not rested in this country. It can't be like, say, every day we just see some kind of unfortunate development which is really saddening to many Nigerians. I'm telling you, there are a lot of controversies that followed this 2023, uh, 2023 presidential election. A lot of controversies. And it is needless to say that the election that brought this current government into office is the worst. Is the worst. Even though it was promised to be the best ever in the history of Nigeria, it turned out to be the worst. Why so? Because we had an incompetent INEC chairman, Mahmoud Yakubu, who failed to do his work, but yet he collected huge sum of money from international communities, from even the federal government and all. They gave him money. Oh yeah, do your job. You said that uh, the beavers machines are not responding. They were technical glitches. How come they were not technical glitches when they were uploading the result of the Senate? How come? Had it been there were technical glitches when they were uploading the result of the Senate and that of the uh, National Assembly, then we would have been, you know, rest assured that, oh, it was really as a result of technical glitches. So, but no, it was so obvious that they were trying to do something funny with the presidential election result. They were doing something funny. That's why when it came to that of the presidential election result, we now started seeing issues of, techni uh, of uh, technical glitches, which we all know is a lie, is a big lie. In fact, it's a scam. They are just trying to blow smoke on the faces of Nigerians to cover up their shades, their dirty, dirty deeds. 
on how they try to manipulate the results. And they think Nigerians are not wise enough to see through this smoke that they are just bringing out. But then my country people, as the matter be now, now so they can't carry the matter go court. Say, well, the court will decide who is the rightful winner of the election. Whether it's Atiko, whether it's a Tinibu, or whether it's Peter Obi of the Labour Party. But then my country people, you know, uh, according to the law, they said the person with the with the 25% of all the votes in the 36 states in this country of the Federation will be declared the winner. And also the person that has 25% vote in the FCT Abuja would be declared the winner. Although Tinibu got 25% vote in all the 36 states in the Federation and he was declared the winner. But then he didn't get the 25% vote in the FCT, which these partitioners Atiku Abubaka and the Pitobi, they are, in fact, they have imputed it on their petitions that Tinibu is not even the rightful winner of the election. Atiku, they toss in a win election. Pitobi, they toss in a win election. So, my country people, the Nigerian judge is here to decide. The judiciary is to decide who is the rightful winner of the election. And as it seems now, the judiciary is the only reasonable option in the quest for justice. And as a matter of fact, our judiciary and the interpretations that have given to our laws have been a major building block in our democracy journey so far. So our laws are very clear about the suppression of powers as it guarantees of an independent judiciary. And the idea behind the concept of an independent judiciary is to Insulate the branch of government from unholy fraternity between its hallowed members and the rest of the society, especially these political actors. But as, the pro but as proceedings on the controversial February 25th election continues at the court, there have been threats from the ruling party that aim to intimidate the judiciary from serving the duty of justice. And it is regrettably that the APC and indeed the agent of President Paul Admet Tinibu have chosen to stand in the way of justice by making catastrophic threats to anarchy if justice is not being served according to their whims. These and reports in the media about this heinous plot to arrest judges sitting on the partition are innumerable to our peace, to the peace and the security of this nation. And our democracy gives the people of Nigeria the power to choose their leaders. And our laws demand that our judiciary must act independently, without harassment, without intimidation by the government or any powerful interest, to compromise the workings of our democracy. And seeking to compromise the workings of our democracy is an open call for anarchy. So my country people, the BDP have used this channel to call on the international community to be at alert. Nigeria's democracy could not be undermined by using the judiciary to serve in the interest of the ruling party. So my country people, what are your thoughts on this? So this is a very serious matter. So guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section. Thank you. Bye for now.